Le Mans 24 hours is a really special race because as the name says, it's 24 hours race. It's the one of the most famous endurance races, which is there. And uh, it's one of the longest, of course. Uh, for me, especially when I came here for the first time, I was really nervous because I didn't know what to expect. Palazzo, welcome to the palace. Go leave Limoncello in the chalice. Tap in Wonderland like Alice. Let's go, come on, let's go. Poolside pulling up in a fresh room. Here's OJ and Prosecco. I mean, the pre-season testing is really important because when you come here without uh, testing the pit stops, the fuel consumption, and most important, also the tires, um, yeah, you are far, far back. So we need to test many things. Uh, it's not just sprint race where you can uh, have some parts which last just short time. You need really parts to last for for long term. And uh, yeah, this is the main target. So we just don't do lap by lap, but uh, we try to make uh, long stints also during the pre-season. And yeah, this year was especially uh, important because we had new electronics and we have uh, new guys in the team. So all of us, we need to basically fit together. So it was really important and I'm happy we made uh, so much testing. Can you explain what happened to Nicolo in Valencia? Yeah, I mean, the crash of Nicolo was a big uh, setback for us because Nicolo, he knows the electronic so good because he's a test rider for the Superbike team. And uh, it would have been good to have him there for set up the bike and everything. And it was, uh, yeah, it was shit to have him crash early on that, on that day. I am uh, Nicolo Canepa and I'm racing for Yard to Yama racing team. After the winter break, we went to, to test in Spain for a few days of testing. It was a very important test because uh, we were trying the new electronic that we will uh, race with in, uh, in the championship. So we were all really excited to be back on the bike and uh, try the, the new things. And uh, unfortunately in Valencia, the first day the track was really, really dirty. And uh, I was feeling comfortable on the bike. I was uh, trying to push and uh, it's, it's a track that I like. And uh, the weather was not bad. Uh, but I, I, I think I pushed a bit too much. The, the entry of corner 10, I completely lost the rear. I did a huge eye side and uh, I was like kind of flying, you know. <laughs> I had many eye side in my career, but this time was a very big one and I never fly so high in, before. And uh, obviously when I, when I landed, I, I had a big impact on the floor. And uh, immediately they, they brought me to the hospital and uh, Luckily, I had only one ankle, uh, broken ankle, but uh, the problem is that the injury was really bad. I mean, uh, I needed the surgery and a uh, long time for, for recovery. Morning, morning. It's, uh, today is uh, uh, March 27, and this is exactly 40 days after the surgery. So we are um, going like every day now to the, to the physiotherapy. So I'm gonna try to work a bit on the ankle that uh, got injured and uh, every day I can do some little improvement. It's only 16 days to day one in Le Mans, so it's gonna be tough. And uh, the, the problem is that I, I still can't put any kind of uh, weight on the foot. The doctor says that I have to wait 45 days. So for five more days I still can't uh, load uh, the weight on the foot and this is... Uh, uh, kind of frustrating because uh, I feel like I could do more but it's really dangerous if, if I put my body weight on the foot because the whole fracture could collapse again so the doctor says that I have to be really really careful and uh, so anyway I'm working hard to, to try to be back in, in the morning time. And the ankle is, uh, is such a bad bad point because is um, you, know, you need to put all your body weight on it so you really need to wait a long time before you can uh, you can heal and before you can start to uh, to walk again, and if you don't walk, the the blood circulation is not working well. You cannot build the muscle again. So this this is the main issue when when you break uh, break this kind of bone. If you break something else, maybe you you are easily back on the bike in 10 days, 15 days. We we have done that before, and many riders have done that. But uh, this is kind of complicated and. Uh, 
was also a also bad fracture, so they need, I needed an operation. They had to put 10 screws, one plate, so it's kind of complicated. And uh, I have to wait 45 days before I can load, I can put some weight on the foot, uh, because the risk is that the, um, the fracture collapse or uh, a screw inside could, could be broken. And uh, in that case, it would be really dangerous because I need one more surgery and I would be out for all season. So it's kind of, we have to try to find the balance between uh, um, pushing hard, trying my best to recover quick, but not too hard in, because we don't want to make, uh, make it even worse. So basically this is a zero gravity treadmill, so I can try to walk without this that I hate. And uh, so I can try again to readapt the leg to start working again. Two weeks were a nightmare because the pain was uh, really a lot and uh, I had to come back from Barcelona to uh, back to Italy to my parents that were taking care of me in this, uh, in this period and the first two weeks were really hard and uh, then I started to move a little bit the ankle to start the physiotherapy. It was uh, really painful and uh, it's, uh, it's quite normal when you have these kind of uh, injuries. I was do I'm still doing uh, every day big improvements the it's working great the, the only problem is the timing because we 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 actually don't have enough time to we, to complete the healing process before riding the bike so this is going to be tricky and uh, I'm living like day by day to see what what I can do and what I can do That's a tough question. Le Mans is, uh, I mean, I, I, this is my sixth year in World Endurance and I never missed the race. And uh, World Endurance is just five uh, races in the championship. If you miss one, you know that uh, it's, gonna, it's gonna be tough. And uh, I, I don't wanna miss this race. I wanna, I'm, I'm trying everything to, to go back, even if the doctor says that it's gonna be Difficult that uh, the time is too short, but I, I definitely want to try to ride the bike on Tuesday uh, to see if I can and uh, I, I want to try but uh, of course I'm living day by day and uh, it's not gonna be easy. So what do you think? It's uh, in 15 days I have to ride the bike. It's but possible? Or? It's very hard but uh, we can uh, we can do. We can try to do the best for uh, for uh, for you, and uh, we we try to push uh, every day a little a little more. And uh, finger crossed. Thank you so much. Good luck. Working with three riders is is not every time easy. Everybody of them have a different riding style, a different style of braking, and so on. The biggest issue is to find the right setup for every three of them. The team effort and sharing the bike with uh, two different riders is uh, a big thing, you know. Normally uh, every rider has his own uh, handlebars position or brakes, everything is a bit different. And so we have to uh, adapt everyone on, on one bike. But luckily we, have, we are three riders who uh, have almost the same bike, so it makes it really easy and good for us. Sometimes uh, you think you want uh, to make uh, in your way the setup, but then uh, the other riders maybe have different riding style, of course, then different ideas. So the thing is we always have to make compromise. We sit together and we say, okay, I have this problem, I have this problem. And then we try to solve and make the compromise. So I think in Renz Races it's a lot about compromises. Yeah, trying to, to help us to, to be, of course, uh, strong for, for long term, not just for one single lap.
considering that Nicolo will not be fit for Le Mans this year? Yeah, obviously it's a problem because, uh, you know, we need Nicolo and uh, he's part of our team, big part. Uh, he's uh, so much experience and uh, he brings a lot uh, to us, especially with the, his knowledge about the Yamaha and uh, his uh, way to think about the setup, you know. So we are really unsure if we can, he can make the race because there are not many riders which can replace him with the speed and with the consistency. So. We are really worried, but uh, yeah, we are sure he's gonna come back and uh, be ready.